Hi guys, welcome to our SLG ISI system YouTube channel. Sorry for the delay for publishing new videos because of I was very busy with my work. From this video, I am going to explain you about quick tips useful in our GIS during very short period. So as the first effort, today I am going to explain you about creating graph or attributes which is very useful in data analyzing projects. I have chosen a commonly used case census data for analyzing projects. I have taken the census data district wise in the format of CSV or Excel. Here you can see all the districts are appear in this CSV file with the population value. In our map, I am going to add the district layer to this map by click on add data, then browse the shape file, then click on add. In the attribute table of this district shape file, you will be able to see all the districts are visible in this attribute table. You can join the two attributes in two different kinds of data files. It is essential to remember that the district name column should be taken as the primary key for this attribute join. In the table option tab, click on the drop down, choose join and relates, then click on join. First, we are going to join the attributes from a table. We can select join attributes table from a table option. Under the choose field in this layer, that the join will be based on should be select as district name. Then there is an option to choose the CSV or Excel file from browsing your location. Then click on the file, then click on add. Under this choose the field in the table to base the join on should be select as district. Then click on OK. Now you can see all the attributes in the CSV file is merged with the attributes of this shape file. Then we can create a graph for population data district wise by again click on table options tab then click on create graph. Under this graph type you can select a suitable bar type. I am going to select as vertical bar. Then the value field should be select as population. Under the X field, I am going to select the X field as district and the X field label also as district name. As an option to place the vertical axis, I am going to select the vertical axis in left side of the graph and also the horizontal axis on bottom side of the graph. Because the data is not necessary in legend, I am going to tick off this add to legend option. Here you can change a suitable color for the graph. I am going to select the color as custom and uh, select a suitable color from this box. Then the bar style can be selected as a rectangle pyramid or any other shape. In next dialog box, you will be able to include a title for this graph. I am going to include the title as graph of district population. If you want, you can add a footer for this graph. In this axis properties, you can change the title of left axis and bottom axis from here. I am going to put the left axis title as population and the bottom axis title as district name. Then click on finish. You will be able to See a graph containing population data district base has been prepared. If you want to change any settings of this graph, there is an option by right click on this graph. Then click on properties. Here you can change the settings that we have previous stage. Then click on OK. And also there is another advanced properties option to edit more advanced properties in this graph. As example, if you want to add a pattern for this graph, you can select a pattern from this. And if you want to select another color, then click on OK. And also there is more options to select a gradient and a gradient direction for this graph. 
and also you can change the transparency of the graph after settings all the things you can close this box finally you can export the graph into many formats by right click click on export here you can see many formats are there such as bitmap jpg pdf you can export this graph into many formats and also and also you can save the graph with right click on the graph and click on save you can save this graph as a graph file also there is an option to add the graph into a layout with representing with the map by right click on this graph and click on add to layout here you can see the graph is automatically added to the layout you can edit the graph type in this layout and also you will be able to see the link of the graph and the attribute table if you want to see the properties of the bar you can select a bar from the graph then the appropriate attribute is highlighted in this attribute table you can change the settings of the graph with suitable with your requirements hope you are familiarized with the spatial joins and creating graph of gis environment hope to see you again thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe us